I'm Bryson. And I'm Florentia. We will be rating shoe brands. The first one is Nike. I think I'll give Nike a 9 out of 10 because they make, like, some shoes that are, like, pretty uncomfortable, but they have good style, like the KDs. They have, like, a pretty, they're, like, pretty uncomfortable on your feet, even though if you break them in. I'm going to rate Nike a 8.5 out of 10. Well, I'm going to rate them a 9.5 out of 10 because they have pretty much any kind of shoe you need, any cleats, any and any types of just regular walking around shoes. Uh, Next up is Adidas. I'll give Adidas a... Mm, I'll give them an 8 out of 10 because they make some good shoes, but like most of their shoes are like with collabs like Yeezy and Adidas. Those are good shoes and they're comfortable, but it's like a collab. They didn't make it. I'm going to rate Adidas a 8.5 out of 10 because... Even though they make, like, all different types of shoes, their shoes don't always look the best. Next up is Converse. I'll give Converse, like, a 5 out of 10 because they don't have good style. And how would I say, like, mostly boys wear it, but it's mostly girls. And, like, they only make it for people, like, with skinny feet. Converse is a 4 out of 10 because of emos. Next up is Reebok. I'll give Reebok a uh, a five out of ten. They don't make that much of good shoes, but mm, they just make they make shoes, but they they don't have good style. Reebok is a five because at least they don't make shoes that every emo kid wears. Next up is New Balance. I'll give New Balance a seven out of ten. They make some good shoes. They just don't have good style. New Balance is a 10 out of 10 because they have the best baseball cleats uh, out of every band, but if every brand, but if you're considering all their shoes, they're like an 8 because the style isn't the best. Next up is Vans. Uh, I'll give Vans a 7.5 out of 10 because they, like, how would I say it? Most, like, skater people wear it. And I, I don't know. It's just weird. I'm going to give Vans like a 6 or a 7 out of 10 because a lot of people wear them. You just have to get the right kind. But all their shoes don't really look the best. The next one is Puma. I'm going to give Puma a 8 out of 10 because their shoes don't look the best, but they're comfortable. And like if you're just looking for a comfy walk-around shoe, you should get Pumas. I'll give Puma, uh, I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. They make okay shoes. It's just like the style. Some of them, they don't have good style. Some of them have good style. The next one is Jordan brand. I'm going to give Jordans a 9.5 out of 10 because uh, their shoes look really good. And it's just they don't really have like casual like running shoes or anything. I'll give Jordan a 8.5. Like, they usually make basketball shoes, and they have, like, some, like, the shoes that are, like, affordable for, like, regular people, it's, like, not, like, not good-looking shoes, and, like, the good-looking shoes are, like, real expensive. The next one is, the last one is Yeezys. I'm going to give Yeezys a 7 or 7 or 8 out of 10 because they're not the most affordable shoes. Like, People could get them, like I could get them, but they're re- like most of them are like three to seven hundred dollars, and it's not really worth it because you could just get other shoes that look just as good, like Jordans. I'll give Yeezy uh seven out of ten because he said it's like really expensive. It's not really expensive, like it's just like a crazy price for just like a pair of shoes, and they're not the most comfortable shoes. Thank you for listening.